Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Joe and welcome to a super quick video and this is going to be how to install Open Fortress. Now if you didn't see it yesterday on the channel, I uploaded a gameplay video of Open Fortress and I said if you want to see a tutorial on how to do it then let me know down in the comments if there's enough sort of people asking for it uh, then I will end up making one. And there was a lot of people asking for it. Now, uh, what I do want to say is if you join the Open Fortress Discord, there's like written a written tutorial there. But I'm more of a visual learner. Like if ever I need to do something, I'll always look up a visual tutorial or like a video tutorial before a text tutorial. Just because I find it easier to follow video steps than reading it. Um, with that in mind though, obviously I did have to read it for Open Fortress. So I'm making this tutorial so other people don't have to. So, uh, so the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to Tortoise SVN. Net. Now, I have no clue what an SVN is. I'd never heard of those three letters together before yesterday when I installed Open Fortress, right? But you're going to want to install it for your operating system, and whether it's 32-bit or 64-bit. Obviously, there's different versions for that. So what you're going to want to do as well, just before you try and do this install, is go into your Steam folder and A, look for Team Fortress 2. Make sure you've got TF2 installed. I'm sure most of you do, but on the off chance you don't. And also, SDK Multiplayer. You're gonna need Source SDK Base Multiplayer 2013 and the reason you're gonna want to install Source SDK Base Multiplayer is because uh, the game essentially takes assets from TF2 and Source SDK Multiplayer so you're gonna need both of them. If you don't have Source SDK installed, essentially go to your library and you're going to want to, instead of games, just search Tools, make sure Tools is ticked, and just search SDK Multiplayer. And once again, it's Source SDK Multiplayer is the one you're going to want to download. Just make sure this is installed. I didn't have it installed. The only reason I, I think that when I installed it, it was to play Pre Fortress 2. Um, so it's like the same sort of thing, so make sure you have that installed. So once you've downloaded Tortoise SVN, just install it. Uh, I've already got it installed, so I won't show the install process, but it's literally so easy. You just press next a couple times, and then it's installed. So you're really not too... I don't think you can go wrong in this process. It's literally impossible to go wrong. So once you've done that install... Now, a lot of you guys out there probably have two hard drives. I have an SSD and a storage drive, right? Now, I think mine was on my storage drive. It's just wherever you actually installed Steam to. So, I'm in my SSD at the moment because I'm pretty sure that's where I did my main installation of Steam. Go into my program files 86 and then we're going to find Steam. And then once you're in Steam, you go to Steam Apps and then you go to Source Mods. And once you're in Source Mods, this is where that weird Tortoise program you installed is going to come into play. Then what you're going to want to do is right click in the folder in the empty space and you'll have the SVN checkout option. And this little box will pop up and in the description below I'll include this URL which is essentially the URL it needs to get the files from, right? Uh, make sure you just copy my settings here, you should be completely fine. Uh, just copy and paste that from the video description. So once you do this and you've copied all my settings, make sure it's on slash open fortress as well. And it should ask you for a login. Now, once again, I've already done the login thing. And I'm looking in the Discord right here. You put OFS as the username and you leave the password completely blank. And then the download will start. Now, this download takes absolutely ages. Um, it's only about 2.5 gig, but the speed on it is just so slow. Uh, they've got like a troubleshooting sort of section in the Discord as well. Um, so if you do end up encountering any issues, my example is my internet cut out whilst I was installing it. Um, so I did have a bit of an issue, but we managed to get it suited pretty quick. Um, just doing what was listed here. And that is literally it. So once your download has finished, you're going to want to go into Steam. If you haven't restarted Steam already, restart Steam and go into search and press open. Search open and open fortress should be there, uh, assuming you follow all the steps but guys that is just about it for this video if you did enjoy then please do remember to leave a like and let me know your thoughts down below and if you want to see more videos like this and general gaming content do be sure to subscribe thanks again very much for watching guys and peace